have some definitions that help us to handle quantities in chemistry. We have to find mass on a microscopic level by using the atom of carbon-12, isotope of carbon, that contains six protons, 12 nucleons, so six protons and six neutrons. And we said that this atom is exactly 12 atomic mass units, which we abbreviate as a mu. We use the same isotope of carbon, carbon-12, and said that 12 grams of carbon-12 was one mole, and it contained Avogadro's number of atoms. So we're doing two definitions simultaneously. It took us a while to figure out how many atoms was in 12 grams of carbon-12. Avogadro's number we abbreviate as n sub a, sometimes n sub zero. And it has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. But we said this was in one mole, so that's how many atoms are in one mole. And we can change the units there to be molecules, atoms, formula units, electrons, anything that's appropriate. And mole we abbreviate as MOL, so MOL is mole, not molecule. So we define a mole as having anything with Avogadro's number of particles. And Avogadro's number is going to be our relationship between atoms and moles, particles and moles. By using the same isotope of carbon-12 to just define AMU and also the mole, by having the same value of AMU and same value of grams in the one mole, they have made it such that uh, atomic mass units scales up to grams per mole. So if atomic mass units is microscopic grams per mole, something that we can use to weigh things on a scale, but the numerical value will be the same. So the mass of 12 AMU scales up to 12 grams per one mole. And it works for all the masses. And our mass here, in terms of grams per mole, is going to be our connection between mass and moles. So we will convert between mass and moles. We'll be using moles primarily as a unit of quantity for chemistry. And that's because Avogadro's number is uh, just a number, it's like a dozen is a number. So when we balance the chemical equation to make sure that we have the same number of atoms on both sides of the reaction, so we have one carbon, one carbon, four hydrogens, two times two is four hydrogens, two times two is four oxygens, two plus two is four oxygens. So we have the same number of atoms on both sides of the equation. And it means that one molecule of methane, this is natural gas, requires two molecules of oxygen to burn. It'll produce one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. We multiply these molecules by Avogadro's number, and we end up with one mole of methane. will require two moles of oxygen to react. We'll produce one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. So we'll be using the molar ratios to relate between the different reactants and products and chemical equations. And even in one compound, we have one atom of carbon and four atoms of hydrogen and natural gas. We multiply those by Avogadro's number, and we have a molar ratio of one mole of carbon to four moles of hydrogen and methane. So moles is the central unit of quantity uh, in chemistry.